So today we're talking about this container platform bill. I think I, I chose a good day as it's been raining. And, and I talked about low areas in the video yesterday. Uh, the reason for uh, this build is this is another low area. If you can look at the slope of the land, you can kind of see it kind of sloping down and you see it starts to hold water. Everywhere toward that fence, it's lower. And I'll bring you in a little closer to look at that. And then we'll talk about this platform. But you can see everywhere back here, it, it's really, it's just a lower area of the land. Everything falls back. You'll see how much water this holds. Now you can just have this area just be a low area in your yard and you not get any use out of it. Or you can take, uh, this is uh, 18 blocks. I have uh, nine blocks on this side and nine blocks on that side. And, and this is the boards that we got from Walmart. It was like a dollar a board for those. Uh, it's kind of like the four by fours. But if you look at this, the reason why I have it three high is because I use this lawnmower to actually cut the grass around this area. Like I say, it's too wet to even drive any kind of uh, rotten mower. So if people do have those kind of yards, you know that you can't, some areas of your yard, if you run a lawnmower, a rotten lawnmower through it, you'll either get stuck or, <laughs> you know, uh, or it'll be tire tracks everywhere in your whole yard. So you most likely have to use either a weed eater or use a push mower. And pushing this, you see how far I can get under this thing with this push mower, right? So it's gonna be good for cutting. So even if I gotta come, it's bringing me more than halfway through. So even if I gotta go on the other side to get just a little bit more, I can do that. Now, if, if this was only too high, then you can look at your average push mower. It wouldn't go, it would stop right here, just to like your front wheels. If it was one high, you could only get your front wheels through and it would probably stop right there as soon as it hits uh, the front of that motor. So three high seems to be uh, the perfect uh, height to be able to cut up under it. That way you keep all your grass down. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, snakes and little critters running up under it. You can also start to see if you got any ant piles or anything else. Uh, but another reason for this, and I kind of let some of the grass grow up in these pots just for the purpose of this video. Uh, but here I have a peach tree right on side of my bay tree. And you can just come in and I'm standing up so I'm not bending over. And yes, you can see you got to have your little boots on. On the ground it's wet. But right here, basically, I can come in and weed all of these pots standing up. All right? You just see me standing up, coming in. You can take this if you want. Uh, Morning Gardener showed me one thing. He, he takes his weeds and throw them in pots, pour water on them, and let them kind of like compost, and then drain it off, strain it off, and use it for your garden, kind of like a little compost tea. Or you can throw them down on the ground because I want the weeds on the ground and not in my containers, right? So as they are stealing and robbing nutrients from this peach tree, I can come in and without any pain of bending. Uh, so for people that are, are disabled or have uh, problems bending. And, and so if you have back problems, right? You don't want to be too much maybe doing the in-ground garden. You really want to have a container garden because it's easier. But containers are on the ground as well. So if you can get someone to put you a few containers up on a platform like this, well, all you got to do is walk outside and do your weeding. Uh, most, this is because I think I put some uh, dirt mix in some of these, that's the reason why I got more weeds than if I just had potting soil. If you just had potting soil, you wouldn't even have to do this uh, for the most part. 
but you can do your fertilizing. Think of how easy your fertilizing is. Uh, and actually, no, I got, it's not time to fertilize, but I'll, on the next video, when I get ready to do some fertilizing, I'll show you how easy it is. Uh, I probably got about another few weeks. This tree here hasn't started to show me any, it's budding, but it's no leaves on it. So I don't really fertilize until I start to see leaves or the new growth. But you can look at that and you can kind of come through any. Uh, now, I, I'm still uh, cog cognizant that something could be in these pots. So I, I am looking. Sometimes I'll come in and kind of move it around a little bit, see if anything moves, if anything catches my eye. Uh, then after that, I just come in and you can see how easy that is. Once again, I keep reiterating the point that I'm not bending over at all. Now, now you see a lot of uh, newer raised beds. They're doing the stand-up raised beds. They're selling them at uh, pl places like Tractor Supply. Man, those raised beds cost, I think I think I seen like $160 for a little small, maybe four by four or something like that or four by two something crazy small uh, for that amount of money when you can just uh, build you a platform like this and put your own pots up here and make your own raised bed basically out of your uh, containers right this is another peach that I have this is a uh, what is this uh, Bell of Georgia peach yeah something like that and basically, just the little time I've been talking to y'all for six or seven minutes, I've, I've sat here and I've actually weeded out these pots. Now, if I wasn't doing a video, of course, this wouldn't have taken me this long, but I'm kind of stopping to talk about what I'm doing and why I chose this platform bill. And I told you, it, I saw it at, uh, at Home Depot, and I said to myself, man i can use that so you can check that out i said man i can use that myself just that fast i was able to come in and, and just weed these out now some of these pots i'm going to change out some things i'm going to plant in the ground so I, I just been holding this stuff here but here's another one this is one of those uh citrus trees that died uh, we actually took it out the ground, but it still grew. So I didn't throw it away. It still grew me some more uh, limbs. So I'm going to use these limbs to try to uh, graft some uh, new varieties or varieties that we already have. Try to graft that onto these. But I can still pull some of this grass out. Because what happens is those seeds from, from some of these weeds will actually go into your other plants and cause your other plants that doesn't have grass seed coming it will cause them to start uh, growing weeds so this is more dirt which is why it's harder to pull these out but you can see just how fast you can actually weed a pot out with none of that you know when you got to stand up uh, back killing you you know, like this, I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing up. And this is all one hand, right? Because I'm using the other hand to hold. Look at that weed. Weeds are interesting as well. I like to look at the root systems on some of these weeds. Some of them crawl under. Some grow on top of the ground. It's crazy. But you see how fast that was that I actually got that weeded out. Uh, so I love the fact... Here's, I think this is, um, not, yeah, I think Aronia Berry. I don't know if it's going to make it here, but go ahead on and get that before it even gets big enough. Just like that. Make weeding, even make weeding enjoyable, right? Just like that. I just weeded those few pots in less than 10 minutes because of this platform bill. I'm telling you, it's an amazing thing. I'm, I'm gonna either put raised beds on side of here 
or I'm gonna build me up. I said I would do uh, one more platform here and, and one more platform here. And, and that way when you come to the yard, you can walk by and then I'll kind of uh, break the plants out into sections or you know have some uh, trees in the middle that's in pots some of my herbs or something like that I'll try to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, but the days of I'm gonna show you this the days of putting pots on the ground for me is past and gone because the reason why uh, I have these on boards it's on top of this little plywood that I wasn't using so of course no grass is growing but you can see the grass is starting to encroach and it's going into that pot to grow up even on this side that grass is encroaching and it'll fit that grass will grow over that whole plywood even here every time I have to cut the grass you gotta do this right you gotta come you gotta move your pot you gotta move your pot and then you gotta cut the grass. Then you gotta move the pot back. With this bill, that's over. This doesn't move. Your pots never need to be moved so you can weed in and out and around them. That's done. Now you can just watch your plants grow. Now somebody did say something about they like to have their pots on the ground because they like uh, to get let the worms come in. Well. You can add worms to these pots, or you can add worms castings, or you can just add some organic fertilizer, and you will still get uh, beneficial growth out of your uh, out of your pots. Uh, so think about this: getting your pots up off the ground. If you are thinking about it, uh, this will be one of the best bills that I think you can uh, put together for yourself. Real low budget. Uh, real perfectly put just how you want it if you want to move it somewhere else it doesn't take long to actually move it somewhere else get a little help with the bricks of course uh, but anybody can do this uh, if you have a, a grandparent or, or, or an older uh, uncle that's into gardening this would be a good gift to give them uh, to come out and build something like this for them uh, you're gonna see further on in the summer uh, but if you have just a container uh, with those those larger ones, man, you put about four or five of those or eight of those and have them all nice looking. Right now, I just got all the pots threw up on there. But you really, really can, can make this thing uh, look beautiful. And man, the proof is in the pudding. Thank you for watching. Louisiana Gardening family, don't forget about that lawnmower. You got to be able to cut that grass under there. You want to keep your snakes down, you keep your grass down. You don't have to worry about that. I think that's the same way in life, right? If you want to keep the snakes away from you in life, keep your grass low. <laughs> that's what they used to tell us when we were young. Those old, those old tales, those old folks always told us. My dad was old enough to be my grandfather, so I got a lot of wisdom from him, and all these old sayings kind of stay with me. Uh, so remember that you want to keep your snakes down or keep the snakes away, keep your grass cut. Peace. Grow, grow, grow.